Today on the channel from WWE Elite Series 93, we've got final time in the line. Don't call me killer, call me Karrion Cross. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite Series 93 unboxing and review and today we've got Karrion Cross. but remember for all your WWE Mattel needs and a whole lot more hit up Wrestling Collector Shop use discount code Kyle and discount code Kyle 10 to save so Karrion Cross, his last time in the line at least for now as he has left the WWE uh, he hasn't really wrestled a whole ton. Uh, I kind of thought we would have saw him show up somewhere. I don't think he's going to Impact. I heard he left uh, kind of on bad terms with them. But maybe AEW, maybe some indies, Pro Wrestling Revolver. Uh, who knows? Game Changer Wrestling. You never know where you might find him. It sounds like you can find his uh, wife Scarlett on OnlyFans is what I've been told. So good for her over there. But I'm ready for Killer Cross to come back. I was always a Killer Cross guy. I don't know about Karrion Cross, but I really did enjoy his time in NXT. Really lost in the shuffle. I don't know what the heck they were doing with him in the WWE. And that's what this look is based off of. So no Scarlet with him. Just a gladiator Karrion Cross at this point. And he does come with the NXT title belt, which is interesting as well. And uh, same one I believe we got with Raquel Rodriguez. Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Rodriguez. Uh, choose your own adventure with her name, I guess, at this point. Like a lot of superstars in WWE at this time, but... We're going to do this like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we're going to compare him to Karrion Cross's prior elite figure as well. So let's take a look at old Karrion Cross right there in his Roman gladiator type outfit. Little mean mug and glamour shot. His name, WWE logo, Elite Series 93. True effects, of course. Certified authentic as it should be. There he is, mean mugging on the side. Same picture. Series 93, carrying cross over there. Then the back of the package, we get the tail of the tape, we get the uh, blurb, we get the glamour shot, we get the elite logo, we get his name at the top, and we got the cross sell down below. And as usual, we're going to unbox the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat Chase at the end of the week, and we're going to compare this whole set of Elite 93 from my least favorite to my favorite. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, check that out. Let's read the back, let's see what it says here. From Sin City, hot this time of year, six foot four, 265 pounds. Finisher, the good old straight jacket. Career highlights NXT champion. Doomsday came to NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver when Karrion Cross defeated Finn Balor for the NXT Championship. And he sure did. He sure did do that. So let's get old Karrion out of the package, see what's going on in here, see what all the fuss is about. See you later, off to the side. Extra hands plus title belt going on here. Let's see what we got. There he is in the plastic prison. I like how he's uh, kind of posed in the package holding the title belt. Uh, it reminds me of elites of old when they used to pose him in the package. So that's always fun. Get him out. There it is. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, we get a fisted hand. You know, old Kyle, he's a sucker for a fist. Uh, you got a fisted hand there. You got the gloved, or not gloved, I guess taped up left hand here. And then I'm guessing you probably get the exact opposite. And I was exactly right. You get the exact opposite over on this side. All right, let's straighten him out, get him ready. We do get the NXT title belt once again. The same thing we got with uh, Raquel Gonzalez, Rodriguez Gonzalez. Uh, very strange. We got the we didn't get the female one. We just got two males. But it is what it is. You can always move your titles around, I guess. And better to get a title than no title. Maybe just for me. I don't know. You guys can sound off in the comments down below. Now we get down to Karrion Cross, and I do like the gladiator gimmick. I did enjoy. Wait, whoa, whoa, let me walk that back. Hold on. I didn't enjoy the gimmick at all, but I do think it looks kind of cool in figure form. A lot cooler than it did on TV. I preferred it as NXT run, uh, but this looks all right as far as a Roman gladiator type figure. Uh, he looks mean. He looks tough. He looks rough and ready. Uh, but it's just uh, didn't work out for him, of course. And not having Scarlet with him was a major problem for me and I guess a lot of people. I think people would have took to him a lot better in the WWE main roster if he would have had Scarlet with him. But, you know, it's really not his fault at the end of the day. He just got a, a bad rap, a bad run there, and creative has nothing for you, and it's just nothing but trouble. But once again, we got double-jointed, pinless, pinless joints here, as always. Uh, beautiful tattoo work here. 
Uh, interesting tattoo work. We'll compare the tattoos. We'll compare the figures to the other one here in a little bit. Hands removable, as you guys can imagine. Bicep and thigh swivel going on. Painted on wrist tape. Uh, head removable, I'm sure. Uh-oh, as I throw his head. Let me just throw his head off. We'll just be the headless carrying cross going on. Uh, you guys know I'm a sucker for big figures, hairy bipedal creatures, and tattooed figures. And we got all kinds of tattoos going on. He's got his back tattoos, all kinds of greatness there. He does have an elbow pad on one side, two knee pads. Then he's got the uh, Roman gladiator kind of belt going on. It looks like he just stepped out of the gladiator movie. Uh, he's got kind of the wrist, wrist gauntlet. What am I talking about? He's got the boot gauntlets here, kind of the same thing to match. Uh, he does have the nice purple and black. Uh, almost a maroon type color. And then you got the ankle articulation, boot articulation, the usual stuff we're used to seeing. He does have the mean mug and face. He looks good. He looks mean. He looks like he's ready to fight. He's ready to throw down. He does fit on a stand perfectly, as you can imagine. They are built for these figures. Uh, but then we get the other one. The other one came with the soft goods jacket, which I always prefer soft goods, as you guys know. Uh, he does look good. Let's see how he squares up if I take this jacket off. So we've got the old pleather jacket. Everybody loves pleather, of course. Uh, what do we prefer? What do we prefer? Uh, I do enjoy the painless joints, of course. I get the edge there. Uh, tattoo works a little, a little different. It doesn't connect up here on the neck, on the little teal parts. And he does have a little bit different tattoo on the upper shoulder there as well. So... Uh, we're missing just a little bit of action there, which is weird. you think they would have used kind of the same arms, but I'm sure that got lost in translation with the pinless joints. Uh, so it's similar enough, close enough, but it's missing some detail on the shoulder. And at least mine is also missing some on the neck. And maybe not as vibrant. It seems like the old one has a little bit more vibrant back tattoos as well. So that's interesting, but... Not enough to really worry me and ruin my mood, but it is interesting, I guess. Interesting. That's that's where we're going to leave it with that one. But Carrying Cross, okay. Last time in the line. Uh, kind of went out with a whimper, unfortunately. But it is cool. At least the figure got out. There's nothing worse than seeing an action figure canceled. So at least we got the figure, and it will be hitting the retail shelves eventually. And in the meantime, you can get him at Wrestling Collector Shop, of course, as you guys know. But an interesting one. I'd be interested to hear your take on Karrion Cross. Is he Killer Cross to you like me? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to hit the old notification bell. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. All that fun stuff. And then follow along for this video and a lot of other early videos, bonus content, all kinds of good stuff over there on Patreon. Link in the description below. Hit me up on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter and Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel. Pick up a t-shirt so there it is old carrying cross i am kyle see you guys all real soon